Today's video explores the making of the step stool that I designed. I designed it to have angled sides, a simple aesthetic arch, and nice clean lines. This video will document the making of several different variations of the same step stool. An important feature for the woodworker is that it's held together all with woodworking joinery and there are no fasteners. This is a final side. It has some angled sides along with a curve that's cut out on the bottom and also you can see a tenon that has been cut on the top. And so here you can see I've drawn out the entire piece. We have our curve along the bottom, the angled sides that we'll cut with a panel saw, and on the top we have our tenon and we'll use some back saws to cut that. Now we turn our attention to cutting the tenon with the back saws. We next remove the saw marks with a hand plane and round over the edges with the radius plane. So now I want to talk about making the top. The top is just a rectangle, but it has rounded edges here on each corner and also has a sixteenth of an inch radius put on this each edge. Uh, furthermore, on the back side, you can see some mortises that are put into the back and this allows it to mate nicely with the sides that interlock like this. And so in this next segment, we're going to look at cutting the mortises um, and rounding the edges and rounding these corners.
I've now unclamped these boards and here you can see that there's some glue residue here that kind of built up from the uh, clamps and so the first thing we want to do is remove that uh, and then clean these surfaces down with a hand plane. We are now ready to make the rails. To do that, we partially assemble the steps tool. And instead of cutting this to length ahead of time, I found that it's better to mark this to fit the space between the two ends. So here we'll do that. So I first mark that space. I then set this in place and spin it around and mark the other one. Next, insert this into here, spin it around, and mark the other one. So here we have our three step stools that are partially assembled. Um, and what we're going to do next is we're going to cut the joinery that connects the sides to the rails. Here we could have cut a tenon joint that looks like this that's cut into the end of the rails, but I chose intentionally to use something called a loose tenon, which requires us to cut a slot in both the ends and in the rails. So in the next step, we're going to uh, cut a slot or in, in the rails. And finally, the last step will be that we want to round over the edges on the rails. And we want to round over the edges so when someone picks up the step stool, it feels nice and comfortable. So the last thing we want to do before assembling the step stools is round over these sharp edges. Here we're going to do this with this hand plane. You 
Using this hand plane is a lot easier than setting up your router, so that's why I like to use it. We are now ready to assemble the step stool. Wiping off the excess glue, this is now ready to sit overnight. Here you can see the three fully assembled step stools that I worked on in this video. And here are some other variations once they've been finished.